Hey, yeah. So, if there's anything that I wish I could shout from the rooftops or say as loudly as I can or, you know, overemphasize as much as I can, it is the fact that women should trust their instincts more. Like, trust your gut feeling about something. If you feel some type of way about it, just follow what your gut instinct is telling you to do. So what is this gut instinct or intuition? It is your immediate understanding of something. Like, you know, you're not overthinking it. You're not getting another opinion. You just know from inside yourself. And this intuition comes as a feeling within your body that only you can experience. Sometimes you can't even describe it to other people, you know. And because this feeling is so personal, you know, no one else can weigh in or tell you if you're in touch with your gut instinct or not. You just know within yourself. And only you will have to make that call. So because of this, trusting your intuition is, I think, the ultimate act of trusting yourself, basically. Now, from my own personal experience, I can tell you that listening to your intuition would help you avoid some situations that could cause you harm or pain in the long run unhealthy relationships you know bad career decisions and all sorts of things throughout your life you're going to meet people you know who have ideas about what is good for you what is not some of these suggestions and ideas and opinions and opportunities some of them will come with good intentions, you know, come, and some of them would be coming from, you know, a place of deceit or selfish intent. Sometimes it can be very hard to tell which category one falls into. And that's where, you know, listening to your own gut feeling would guide you. See, I have made some mistakes in my life. And as I'm lying down here and thinking about it, it feels like... If I had listened to my own gut instinct, if I had listened to my own intuition and just followed what my mind was telling me about some things, I probably wouldn't have made those mistakes. So yeah, as women were most, most times raised to second guess ourselves, to always ask for other people's opinion, what do you think, what do you think? Sometimes we don't even ask for other opinions, we just tell ourselves, you know, oh no, we second, yeah, we second guess ourselves and we tell ourselves, oh Maybe I'm overthinking this. Maybe this is not it. Maybe that is not it. And then we start listening to outside voices. But the truth is, if we learn to just trust ourselves and trust our, our own mind, our own gut feeling, I feel like it's a very deep spiritual thing that, you know, um, God, for people who believe in God, I believe that God has put it in us. And for some people, they say it's the universe. Whatever it is that you believe in, I feel like, you know, for me, I feel like God is giving it to us, like to just guide us in that way when we don't really know what to do or where to go. So if someone brings an opportunity before you, someone offers you a job, someone is trying to come onto you for a relationship or whatever, and, you know, they, you, your, your gut feeling tells you that, man, this thing is not... This thing no BM, this thing is not working, this is not going to be good, this is not, this doesn't make me feel comfortable. Then don't do it. Just walk away. Just walk away. You would save yourself a lot of future heartache, a lot of stress, a lot of worrying, and a lot of pain if you listen to your instincts more often. Our instincts are most times always right. Most times our instincts are always right. You will just know that man. Something is off. And if your gut instinct tells you something is off, even about a person, you meet someone for the first time and you just feel some type of way, or you're trying to employ somebody and you just feel some type of way, then don't do it. Don't second guess yourself. And the more you practice it, the better you get at it and the sharper your instinct gets. So yeah, that's what I just feel like I should share. Anyway, um, it's Sunday. Have a good weekend. Enjoy the rest of your day.